Welcome to Turmeric and Tequila with your host, Kristen Olson. Questioning a better way, one gracefully disruptive conversation at a time. Welcome to Turmeric and Tequila. I'm super excited to be here today because we have fitness family from a long time in the house, <laughs> my CrossFit fam. And today we're going to be talking about supporting our veterans. I know, you know, we're, we're just ahead of the election, but there's one thing we all get together on, regardless of what side you're, you're rooting for or voting for, which I hope everybody's going out to vote for whatever side it is. We always want to support our troops and our men and women and humans of service. So we're going to unpack uh, Team Red, White, and Blue with Aaron Varcasio today. And we are going to just share a little bit more on how you can get involved. I know we're all questioning what is, you know, how can we support? How can we show up? And Aaron's going to break it down on a quick, easy way where we can get involved in, and do some good out here. So without further ado, Aaron, welcome to Turmeric and Tequila. This is super awesome, Kristen. Thank you so much for having me on. This is great. Yeah. Uh, with, Long time anything, coming. Anything I can do to spread the word, just get the word out and, uh, Talk about it. Talk about us. Talk about what I do, how I give back, stuff like that. Yes. Well, and the coolest thing about CrossFit, I always say about this, and we always have our opinions as CrossFitters, you know, 10, 15 years in the game. There's um, <laughs> there's some some good and some some less good. But the, mm -hmm. the best thing I always say is that it's the best filter for the best humans because it's always mission-driven people out there, for the most part, trying to do something more than themselves. And it doesn't matter if they're doctors, lawyers, leaders, coaches, stay-at-home parents. Everyone kind of has this mission of where they're, they're looking to give back or, again, for the most part. So I'm pumped that, you know, you years down the road. I'm certainly not in the competitive game of CrossFit anymore, but mm. I've got, you know, all kinds of people from my past from the CrossFit world coming on because they're involved in these great causes. So Aaron, I, before we get to red, white, and blue, tell us a little bit more about you. So the audience gets to know Aaron and in particular, sure. uh, your, your young self. <laughs> my young self. Love it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I currently live in Littleton, Colorado. Um, I, uh, moved out here roughly 14 years ago. I'm originally from upstate New York and, uh, everyone always asks, why'd you move? Well, I wanted to start something different. Um, and that was one heck of a road to, uh, to make where I am now. Uh, nothing but support with my family, uh, my wife now, and, um, it's been one heck of a journey and. I came out here to dive into fitness and I actually, a uh, bit of a story before I moved out, I attempted uh, to uh, serve in the Navy. Um, then uh, certain things in my, I guess, professional life happened and that did not take place. So it was either serve Navy or take a trip out to Colorado and start a new life. Got in my Jeep, drove 2,400 miles hey. by myself, by myself, 500 miles a day. It was one heck of a um, experience. And, you know, it's experiences like driving out, living off of, uh, well, the life, the land, what have you, and uh, making a life for myself. And, you know, I dove into fitness for a long time personal trainer, CrossFit coach, CrossFit gym manager, stuff of that nature. Running a business, uh, if you didn't, y'all didn't know, I did run a mobile equipment maintenance business and uh, no longer, that is done. But uh, I wanted to give back. Um, with all the support I had over the years for my fitness journey, fitness professional life, I wanted to give back. And, um, Lo and behold, I'm at Ragnar one year. Ragnar is a relay race. Uh, this was a uh, trail relay race. And I saw this tent, this tent. It had red, white, and blue all over it. I went over there. I'm like, what's up, guys? What y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, same thing you're doing. Cool. Uh, all right. I, I run a gym in Littleton and I'm curious what y'all do, what this is all about, stuff like that. 
and uh, you know, chat with some folks, did some email, do some chatting, what have you. And lo and behold, next month I was running a weekly uh, class out of my gym. Um, at the time, I was looking to, you know, promote, build my gym. I, that didn't it kind of happen, but not really. But what it did do is start a relationship somewhat of a, a career with Team Red, White, and Blue. Um, I am a volunteer, so I pay. I get paid in, uh, I don't know, heartfelt. I just, in glory. When I see, when, <laughs> glory, and when I see a lot of folks coming out for our events and just wanting to hear and know and just getting to know folks, um, it's huge. I mean, I was just an athletic coordinator at the time. Years down the road, I became athletic director, took a break, came back as coordinator. And within now I'm at seven months, I believe, six, seven months as chapter captain. Wow. Um, and it, it's been a journey. It's been interesting. And uh, just setting up events, meeting with leaders. Uh, but the biggest thing for me is why I'm doing this today is partnering getting the, yeah. getting in with our community and not just reaching out to individual folks but reaching out to other businesses partnerships vsos for that matter and uh see it get in the big picture because our denver chapter is huge um basically castle rock denver just south of fort collins brighton everything um it's big, it's bold, and it's uh, beautiful. <laughs> I, I love it. So, yeah. what, what I mean, the the underlying tone of this and a lot of the great 501c3s like CrossFit is, it's around community. It's building community. Mm -hmm. Whatever the cause is you're serving, it's like-minded humans, you know, working towards a common goal, just like CrossFit. And this is why I love athletics so much in team sports, because you're all bonded immediately, no matter how different you are by this common goal. And there's there's not a lot better than, uh, you know, people getting, to better, getting together to further support our humans of service. Since you didn't go to the Navy, why did you feel so particularly passionate about giving back to this cause specifically? Fitness is my way of out, yeah. getting out of reality. Yeah. Uh, may it be functional fitness, hiking, walking a dog, maybe walking a cat, just kidding. Um, <laughs> I see that in Denver. My wife and I, we have two two cats, two dogs, and uh, I mean, they're our life. Yeah. Um, if we're hiking, we're bringing them, unless you're going to Rocky Net Mountain National Park. Um, <laughs> but... Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I joined, I got in with team red, white, and blue because of the health and wellness aspect. Yeah. Um, team Rubicon is amazing service orientated, uh, as is Michigan, Michigan continues, I believe. But, um, yeah, with team red, white, and blue is all, it's basically physical, social, mental, just get out and do something. Yeah. It could be from running, could be walking. It could be, is a, if a veteran or a veteran supporter reach out, is out to me or one of my leaders or members, what have you, they have coffee, they take a picture, they send it to me or they put it up. That's huge. That's it. Yeah. Um, just getting out, being social, not being on your couch and feeling sorry for yourself. Let's do something. Let's I hear that. Life. But in the, I just want to read the um, red, white, and blue. It says, who are we? Team Red, White, and Blue is a community of veterans, service members, military families, and supporters united by teamwork, shared values, and a common goal. We help veterans lead healthier lives through fitness events, training, and programs. They have over 250,000 members and 19,500 annual events. So this is a massive machine. And I love to see it because it is, again, something so positive, not only for the people you're serving, but the people that are showing up to volunteer mm -hmm. and to help out like you said you get so much more out of it so if you're listening yeah. and you're wondering like you know how can i get involved how can i help it's i think they do it exactly what you did at that first ragnar event walk into something you're attracted to and ask questions and just say what's going on and see if it's you know of like shared values for yourself and find a way to get involved uh and i i always say how, i'm a longtime volunteer as much as i can and mm -hmm. everything i give is subpar to what i get in return i mean you walk away so fulfilled and feel so useful and purposeful i consider it a major part of my own 
mental health. Do you feel like that? Yeah. I mean, for me, it's my wife and I, we do well. I've, I've made a living for myself and I get back. This is me giving back. Um, I serve within my community and uh, I mean, no politics yet, but uh, this takes enough. <laughs> this takes way enough of my time. That's yeah. Sure. And, and it's, it's what I want. It's good. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yet, and yeah, if I'm at an event and someone sees me or sees another red shirt, I'm not wearing the red shirt right this second, but uh, you know, teamrwb.org, pretty simple, cut and dry. Go there. Uh, there is people might ask, how do you reach out? Man. You, it, there is so many ways to communicate with this organization, Facebook, Instagram, email, you name it. Uh, just, we are there for you. I love that. So tell us a little bit more about what we have specifically going on in Denver. Like what are an example of some sure. of the events or the community outreach that you guys do currently? Imagine you asked that question. I kind of wrote down all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Um, so this upcoming Saturday, we do have, uh, partner we partnered with the travis manion foundation hey. and we have yep yeah, we have the travis manion uh wad this saturday in parker that we uh well, signed up for and registered for and all that jazz um the next saturday we have we also do uh one of our leaders marcus and his, and his wife eileen they run the colorado brewing run series and they're doing it the following saturday of course, myself, um, I will be the, the following Sunday, 5-5, five, five, Cinco de Mayo, will be rucking. Um, and straight up, uh, a couple weeks ago, we did a March. It was so with Team RWB, there are the monthly missions. They set these up, I say last year, because during the, the old COVID regime, um, we were having trouble just getting people out. And they started up the, the monthly missions to gain awareness and just an idea for folks to get out. Anywho, this monthly mission, we did March to Baghdad, and this was a ruck. And I reached out to all the rucking organizations in our Denver area, which is like five, which is epic. Had about eight people show up, and it was a blast. Okay. Um, it was a blast. Just uh, some old friends came, came some new, brand new uh, Eagles, what we call members are Eagles. Um, it was a blast. So I'm like, we're just going to get another ruck in the books right now. Single to mile. Let's go. Um, the following uh, 511, we have another uh, Colorado Brewery running series. And and then within that same month, we had the Colfax Marathon Half Marathon on the 17th. Nice. And, nice. and I'll do all. We had this fancy thing called an app. It's on your smartphone. Hey. Dumb phone. <laughs> uh, TeamRWB.org. Register. Become a member. And guess what? You can see all the events. And the uh, cool thing about it is when I have my events up and you can filter how many miles you want to go or your area and you can have events that are in denver Colorado springs what have you so there's options and uh That's last awesome. last piece is like if there's an event you're interested in and it's on the calendar reach out let me know or even uh members are more than welcome to uh set up an event as a member and just get folks knowing about it. I love it. And you guys did um, the Do More Charity Challenge, or we had a team, I think one of the members from Front Range, Mike Jim at the time, competed mm -hmm. on behalf of um, RWB, and I think it was a few years, and they raised significant dollars. So those are huge paychecks, so shout out to the Do More Charity Challenge. I don't know if you guys are doing that. They are coming back to Denver again this year, so I'll um, I'll plant that seed. But it's Not really yet. cool. <laughs> tell tell me um what kind of people show up for this? Give me a vibe on like the human that comes out. Like, is it fun fitness people or like what's the vibe? The same thing like CrossFit, Ms. Yeah. Kristen. <laughs> General population. <laughs> GPP. Um, we're looking for anybody from I don't know, 16 to 99. <laughs> there you go. And you don't have to necessarily be super fit, do you? Nope. Nope. Um oh, levels. Seriously, I mean, it's like you come out for a run and you don't run, that's okay. Yeah. Um, 
take a walk. And one of us, I'm sure more than one of us will be there walking with a stroller or some dogs, but no age limit. Obviously, if you're a baby and you're in a stroller, rock on. Um, and uh, status, veteran or veteran supporter. That is what I am. I'm not, I did not serve. This is why I'm serving. And, you know, we have a decent amount of veteran supporters in our um, organization, chapter, what have you. Absolutely. Well, I'm particularly passionate about it as a longtime athlete. Uh, the conversation on brain health has always been on the forefront um, of my personal and professional agenda with my consulting company. And I have two brothers of service, one that was Army, yeah, Army Special Forces and one Marine. One did have a TBI. So I'm always looking for specific causes. And also, funny story, I knew Travis Mannion. I, I went to college okay, at George Mason. Yeah. Okay. And okay. Uh, my one of my teammates dated uh, a guy that was a wrestler at the Naval Academy and Travis was his teammate. So they actually came to our lacrosse house a couple of times and vice wow. versa. Wow. Yeah. It's so it's wild. And I, with a friend, we did the Travis Mannion run in Colorado mm -hmm. Springs a few years ago. So anyways, I love sure. seeing cool. those causes come together because mm -hmm. I think in this day and age, everybody thinks 501c3s or companies are mutually exclusive, exclusive. We're like collaborating and coming together can help everybody. And mm -hmm. it's all about giving back. Yeah. Um, so tell me like a little bit, what does red, white, and blue give back to you specifically? Like when the funds come in, what kind of causes are they supporting? Some of the funds go to the chapters. So I have, you know, certain 150, I mean, it's cool part is like, if I have an event, I am able to get some coffee for folks or food. Okay. Never so they give you a little bit of budget. Yes. We have $150 a month. Okay. And, um, I mean, Right now, I'm literally going to be buying a shirt for um, Fred Dayton. He's the owner of Mach 983 oh, CrossFit. Yeah. yeah. And we do a monthly workout there. We just had it this past Saturday. Oh, um, I wish I would have known about that. Okay. Yeah. No worries. Um, Got to get you on that. Yeah, for <laughs> um, real. Um, I do. I will be having another event at Mach in May. But we're finalizing the date and time. Okay. Um, but I, what, the reason I did it over in Mach 93, it's in Aurora and it's near the base. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, near the base. Fred does it. I mean, you know, he, yeah. uh, he uh, with fire. And yeah. Fire is it. Yep. Um, so I've been with, I think we've just did our fourth monthly, fourth monthly uh, workout there. Okay. We've been going there since January. Um, and last month we had a couple of new folks come in and, uh, yeah, it's been fun. It's just, you know, when I first hopped on as a coordinator, I was like, let's meet up at this park, do this. And then like two or three people show up, you go to a gym and they already have a class and you have 20 people there. Yeah. It goes a lot better. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. The organization yeah. that really helps. So, um, that I do want to read this part. It says programs, sure. teams, red, white, and blue support or reports that it supports veterans as they prioritize their well-being by offering real life and virtual opportunities to build a healthier lifestyle with, with a strong focus on mental and physical health. So it sounds like they fund opportunities in different capacities to specifically serve our veterans around physical and mental health. Uh, okay. And I, I love that. I want to lean into that conversation, Please. partnering with established organizations okay. like mock or the CrossFit gyms, yeah. because yeah, it is, it's a one, two punch. And that's certainly what we're trying to do right now with turmeric and tequila is find sure. the, our humans that are speaking the same language and where we can collaborate with and build something bigger. What is like a partner or a sponsor or a human? What, what's your ideal situation for you to partner with or help support red, white, and blue from like a partnership standpoint? Uh, more of a, so I'll promote it on my end, but if they promote like within their weekly emails, what have you, that we are going to be there for that uh, that time frame. Um, and I suppose, yeah, just welcoming us. Like if I if and when, when I show up or my leaders show up, we get to have a little spiel at the at the beginning of the workout or whatever, and we just uh, just state what we are, what we do, and it's just. Have some fun, but it's yeah. I don't ask for a ton, but I do ask obviously for communication. It's not a show up then and that's all I get. No, I actually get some good communication between the coach, the owner. Um yeah. Uh, I bring like 
swag for like wristbands and flyers stuff of that nature and uh and i do hope that when i'm there this is not mandatory but when i'm there folks go to the website register become a member because uh it's not just me i have 1807 members wow wow <laughs> how many how many people show up on average per event i know you guys have a lot of events so i'm sure they get spread out but like what's like your average attendance you're averaging three to ten per, okay yeah so right it's still now. a tight so you're like a tight group amongst like larger community which i actually think is awesome yes. And it's like, it depends on where you have the event sometimes because mm -hmm. I'll have an event in, uh, we recently had our previous chapter captain, uh, he moved to Michigan and folks from all over De Denver area, um, they knew of Nathan, Nathan Robinson. He was our previous chapter captain and everyone came through. We had about 10 people at that farewell party. It was pretty, it was, it was pretty cool. And awesome. um, yeah, it, we did a little run. Once we done running, we had some food, chit chatted. We provided a uh, Nate with a plaque, and uh, you know, one thing it's a uh, I don't want to give away too much regarding mock, but they're going to be receiving a, a present soon because hey. uh, what they do. Yeah, yeah. Um, I love that. Fred does some amazing work uh, for the community, and it's. Yeah, community, young and old, general pop. I love it. Well, one of the, I mean, the biggest reason I stay in the CrossFit game, certainly not to compete as we discussed, and the body's feeling it at this point, but it's really for my mind, my community, my humans that are like-minded, you know, we show up, we work out and we get people. Uh, I get to be around people that I genuinely enjoy, have some fun with. And I feel like if you don't have that in your life now, and maybe fitness or CrossFit isn't your jam, something like this volunteering, where you can be part of a community, or even if you have one thing in common, you start to meet and get to know people like you. And man, that helps your, you know, your mental mm -hmm. health, your physical health, just mm -hmm. everything in your world. And it, you know, diversifies our perspective on things because as we get older, we get so siloed into our relationship, our job, our dog, you know, it's, it's very, it's a one, you know, it's a one track mind for most of our life because it just gets so um, monotonous. So it's good to, to branch out, meet different people, do different mm -hmm. things, try new things. And if you can give back while having fun, man, it, it doesn't get better than that. True. True. Yeah, when I when I when I have an event and I have a lot of folks showing up for it, that's that's a great great day for me. Yeah, um, it's amazing. Well, you get to see your impact right there, yeah. and yeah. you get to make some friends. Like, yeah. are are these? Is it like CrossFit where these are some of the humans you like hang out with, or maybe you go to church with, or play football on Sundays, or watch basketball games? Like, is this like your community you hang out with? If they're in my area, because literally when I <laughs> when I had that ruck in Thornton, we had folks from Thornton. Arvada, Erie, hey. uh, uh, DTC, got it. Okay. So, I mean, all over. So, it's due to the fact that, uh, so another chapter within our state is Colorado Springs, and their chapter is more uh, century located, central located, per se. Um, so, geographically location about miles is a little bit different mine yeah. is extensive yeah. um but i always tell myself and my members i have to say this to myself a lot we're volunteers yeah um we're doing this with the kindness of our heart and we're just love giving back but you can work work as hard as you need to but just we're volunteers giving back and uh, just have fun. That's the word yeah. I was going for. <laughs> Keep it light. Yeah, I think, mm -hmm. well, I think in this day and age, because it is supporting our troops and those conversations can be really heavy topics. And But the mission is to get people together to support those who have served. So outside Correct. of that, you don't really need to think too much. You can just show up, have a good time, be good energy, yep. give back where you can, give what you can. And that's more than enough. And at every event, I do have one thing that I have to say to everybody. It is what we call an eagle call, and it's get on your app and check in. <laughs> okay. You know, Simple. Uh, I just stating that, boom, we had an event, you came, and uh, I get to just get that one step closer to beating Colorado Springs with attendance. 
There you go. There you go. I like Good it. Luck. <laughs> competition within a competition. <laughs> yeah. It never ends. Well, I love that. If you're if you're out there and you're looking to get involved in uh, something, find something that speaks to you. But it's easy. The upside of social media and technology, you know, nowadays is that it, everything's accessible. You can get out there, you can dig into the details, find out what fits for you. But just get involved. I can't preach enough about right. mental health and community. That's two pillars of our Turmeric and Tequila podcast, and it it's it's more than and when you whenever time, whenever you give back you get so much in return so i always say if you if you are in a rut or you're looking for a direction to go go give what you have if it's money great but if not time and energy is priceless and when you show up for someone else they will show up for you and you will receive so it's it's an easy go to if if you're seeking uh i know you said it once but hit us with websites details or anything else where people can find the information to get involved number 1 www.team rwb.org go there uh register become a member you can even go to contact and send an email to our our folks they send it to me or uh my email oh god bless should i put that in the show notes uh yeah we'll put it we'll put it in the show notes <laughs> um but yeah we have a uh facebook page team rwb denver instagram Guess what? Team RWB Denver. Um, yeah. And uh, my name is Aaron Barcasio, chapter yeah. captain. And you can find me on all the things. If you can't get me via Facebook, Instagram, email, text, bird messenger, <laughs> send an owl. Come find me and give me a pound. I love it. I love it. Fitness humans showing up to this day, long time in the game. I love how passionate you are about fitness and um, giving back. I know fitness has given so much to both of our lives. It's great to see you carve out that space as a successful human to create space for others. So I hope in this day and age, especially with an election coming up, whatever it is, go find common ground with the humans around you. Find a way to give back to those in need because we all find that space in our life where we are in need. So if you are uh, privileged enough to have and to give, show up and do it. And through my fitness family there's no better way and i can't say enough good about uh supporting our men and women of service so i'm here for that aaron i ask everybody this on turmeric and tequila as our final question but what is success to you success to me is going to going to bed with a full heart just knowing that i did good and i wake up the next day knowing i did good yesterday what can I do better today? Hey, amen. That's what's up. And uh, I, I, serving purpose, I think, is really huge. Were you like that? This may be not final question. This will be the final question. No but worries. as a young person, were you purpose and mission driven? Like, like, were you a competitive athlete young? Like, has that always been in your blood? So I say this to everybody uh, that meets me, note that gets to know me. I also 1999 Eagle Scout. And um, when I was going for my Eagle Scout, my father said one thing. Because it was it was difficult. I'm like, well, if it's tough, then quit. Yeah, he doesn't know how hard that hit and how it sticks to my heart these days. And uh, to this day, uh, I may not. Things might be tough. If I don't know the answer, I will find it. I will do it. If someone asks me a question, I don't know it. I will find it and I will provide it. Um, so it's just way of my life. I you know. Besides Team RWB, I'm also in the customer service industry with Natural Grocers. So, a uh, little shout out. Um, been a yeah. grocery, been a grocery manager for three years, and uh, only one way but up. And every, and every day, I just try to do better than the previous day. Boom! I love that. It's funny how some few words can stick with us forever and be such a driving force uh, on our trajectory. But I, I love that. Well, keep serving as you do. As you do one thing, it's kind of how you do everything. So I see that in your paths, personally and professionally. And uh, yeah, absolutely. That's it's to be admired. And that's the influencers in real life that we care about out there serving in any which way you can. So go check out Team Red, White and Blue. I've got my Red, White and Blue on today. I am certainly a proud American and out to be out here, especially as a female voice with the freedoms that we carry. So wherever you're at, go support our men and women of service and uh, do what you can do. Give back so you can give to yourself. Aaron, thank you for joining thank us. You. We'll see you at an event soon. And I'm glad yep. you're still crossfitting. We're still in it. Yep. I just had it this morning. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Thank you. Check Aaron out. Bye-bye.
Thanks. Thank you for joining Turmeric and Tequila with your host, Kristen Olson. Tune in next time and don't forget to subscribe on Apple, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen.